Hey, how's it going, my friends? Welcome back to another Sprinkler Supply Store product overview. I'm Sprinkler Nerd Andy, and today we're gonna to be taking a look at the Rainbird 1800 spray head or spray sprinkler. So I've got the uh, six inch here with the side inlet. Side inlet, it refers to the inlet that comes in from the side of the sprinkler, hence the name, but you can also thread in from the bottom. And then we're gonna take a look at the 12 inch, and this is no side inlet, sometimes referred to as NSI, no side inlet. And we're gonna just kinda kinda talk everything 1800 spray head. So a couple things I wanna point out first is that I have two different models, um, and actually Rainbird makes three models of the 1800. They have the base model, which is just simply the 1800 series. Then the second model they have is known as the SAM, you see S-A-M and that refers to seal-o-matic. We'll talk about that in a minute. Then they have another model, which is PRS, which you can see right here, PRS, and that stands for pressure regulation. And then you can get the sprinkler that has both of them, the SAM PRS. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna talk about each of these independently and what they mean. But the first thing I wanna go over with you is that the sprinkler is just a body. All that this does is pop up and either have the seal or the pressure regulation, but the when the water comes out, that is the nozzle making that happen. So the first thing I wanna do is talk about the types of nozzles that can be used with the 1800 sprinkler. And that really is any nozzle that has female thread, okay? Like that, any female thread nozzle typically will work on a Rainbird 1800 sprinkler. And let's just go ahead and I'll take this one apart for you. Okay, so all the all the sprinkler does is pop up out of the ground like that. The water comes out of the nozzle. Okay, so if you're looking to learn or understand how to adjust your 1800 or how far the water is going to throw, it all it's all about what nozzle you have on the sprinkler. So take a look at it. A lot of sprinkler nozzles are fixed, meaning they're only going to be one quarter um, angle or two thirds or half or full. So the first choice of nozzles is the angle and that can be fixed and then the distance. So you could have an eight foot quarter pattern or you could have a 12 foot half pattern or you could have a 15 foot full circle pattern. Okay, those are called fixed, uh, fixed nozzles. And then you might have something that's called an adjustable nozzle. So this one happens to be a Hunter, come on, Pro 6A. 6A means it's adjustable. So on the Hunter nozzle, you simply turn the top of it and it opens or closes the radius accordingly. Rainbird has one called the He-Van. That's this guy right here, the He-Van. And to adjust the He-Van, you're going to turn the side of the nozzle. And again, that will open or close the arc angle, but the distance is going to be, going to be fixed. This one happens to be the Van 12. So this is going to be a 12 foot distance that you can adjust the arc because the arc is variable. So. This video is not about the nozzles, I just wanted to point that out, is that if you do want to adjust your 1800 sprinkler, really the only thing to adjust is the, is the nozzle, uh, because that's controlling the arc and the distance or the throw of the water, okay? And uh, I also will mention that when the sprinkler is uh, popped up, you can grab onto the riser and you can rotate the riser, you'll hear it click and that's okay. It's designed to do that. So if you have a fixed, let's say a half foot fixed nozzle and it's not lined up correctly with your sidewalk, you can grab the riser and you can rotate it just a little bit or adjust it and you'll hear some clicking and that's okay. And that's how you line up the spray pattern coming out of the, of the sprinkler. All right, so let's take a look. Um, this one is the PRS model that I have out, again, noted PRS. So in the riser uh, portion of it, there is pressure regulation. Uh, this is not the seal version. seal has a check valve on the bottom. So now I'm gonna undo the uh, this big 12 inch pop-up. It may come apart because the spring on this one is huge. Okay, we'll slide that out gently. <laughs> Hold that up. Now, if you look at the bottom of this one, you'll see that 
that rubber disc there, that is a check valve. So what that is designed to do is stop low head drainage. So when the sprinkler turns off, if it's at the bottom of a hill and you have water running down, this will not leak out because there's a check valve installed in the bottom of the sprinkler. And that is what seal matic stands for, okay? Otherwise you can, uh, well, let me show you. Keep in mind that when you first purchase a sprinkler, this orange cap is called the flush plug. Get that up on there. And what that is designed to do is flush out the sprinkler or the lateral line. So if you've just installed your sprinklers for the very first time, before you put the nozzles on them, you wanna turn on that zone, flush all the water out because you might have pipe shavings, you might have dirt, contaminants in the line that need to be flushed out. So all Rainbird sprinklers come with a flush plug. Then you just simply unscrew the flush plug and you put on your nozzle. So if we're gonna use a Rainbird nozzle, it'll have this little blue screen and then you can just simply screw your nozzle right on to the top like that, okay? The other thing to keep in mind is you can also use MP rotators with the Rainbird 1800. So I do have an MP rotator right here. And because this has female threads, as I mentioned before, you can screw the MP rotator right on to the 1800 sprinkler. Again, Rainbird, this 1800 sprinkler comes in lots of different pop-up sizes. I think all the way down to three inch, four inch, six inch, 12 inch. And then the six inch and the 12 inch, you have the option of purchasing with this, uh, with the side inlet. And the benefit to the side inlet, of course, you don't have to feed in from the bottom. So you can dig a slightly, uh, a slightly less deep hole or shallower hole. But I will uh, just, just remind you that if you are winterizing your system and you have, meaning you're gonna run compressed air through the system, compressed air likes to come in through the bottom. So one trick is to uh, step on the sprinkler. When, you, when you're winterizing and air is coming up, step on the sprinkler a few times to flush that water out of the bottom. And that'll, that'll really help move that water out if you step and compress that sprinkler. So, you know, really, again, the 1800 sprinkler, it's been in the industry a long time. It's probably the number one most sold, the number one, the most popular sprinkler that there is. And then really its job is to pop up and hold a nozzle. So you can use any female nozzle that you want. And the job of a nozzle is to distribute the water. And there are many different types of nozzles. So if you're looking for help on how to adjust your sprinkler, you really need to look at what type of nozzle do you have, and then you can learn how to adjust that particular that particular nozzle. So I think that's it. If we can help you um, with any of these products that we just talked about, or any Rainbird sprays, rotors, controllers, drip, valves, you name it, we're happy to help, and you can reach us by phone, chat, and email. So until the next Sprinkler Supply Store product overview, happy sprinkling, we'll talk to you then.